Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a video that I've been meaning to do for about six months, but I keep forgetting. Um, but it's like it reminded me a couple weeks ago. So I'm here today and we're going to be doing a review on the Mum Away Belly Band, um, which I used for my postnatal recovery after having my son Owen. Now he's about eight months old now, so I haven't, it's been a while since I used this for its intended purpose, but I did say when I bought it that I was going to do a review for you because I didn't really find any video reviews about this one online. Um, so I thought this might be helpful for some of you that were sort of weighing up your options between the different belly bandits. Um, and yeah, I wanted to tell you why I chose this one out of all the other options that there are on the market. Um, so I'll just get started by telling you exactly which model I've got. Um, this is, like I said, the Mum Away Belly Band. It's the Nano Bamboo in Charcoal, which you can see there. Um, and I got it in the, the size medium, which you can see the size guide there. Um, it only comes in medium, large, and extra large. I'm not sure why they don't have a small, but that's the way it is. Um, and this one cost $109. So when I first started looking at postnatal recovery bands, um, the one I was really... The first one I looked at was the Belly Bandit because that was the only one I'd really heard of that I sort of recognized the name. It does seem to be the most popular one that you can find reviews on, on forums and online on YouTube and everything like that. So that was the first one I started looking at. Um, it seems like a great product. I didn't try. I didn't see it in store or anything like that. The only reason I didn't get it, um, or the only reason I started to look elsewhere was because a lot of the reviews I read... Um, the women that were using them were having to buy two different sizes and using both sizes. They'd buy a large, which they could use for the first two weeks, but then the way those bands are designed, they only fit for a certain amount of time before you can't use them anymore. Um, so people were having to buy a second one, which, you know, that's another, I mean, the cheapest one I think is about $75. In Australia, it's about $75, and it goes up to about 150 for, like, the new snazzy one that they had about the time that I was looking at them. Um, and to be honest, I didn't want to spend the money on two different bands, especially because I wasn't going to be 100% sure that they would work. Um, I wanted it both for um, tummy recovery, like vanity purposes, like the look of my stomach. I wanted it for that, and I also wanted it for the back support, because I did have a few dramas after having Taylor. Once I noticed that most people were having to buy two of the Belly Bandits, I decided to have a look at other options to see if there was anything cheaper. Um, and I did come with the Mum Away one. The main reason this one, I went for this one, is because it's basically, you know, one size and you're done. Um, my knowledge, the belly bandit, it's the actual belly bandit, um, you know, has this piece of velcro on this side, but the soft, the loop part of the velcro only goes, you know, so far, like, and the rest of it is just a regular material that you can't velcro it onto, so that's why, you know, you can only use it for so much, so long, because you only tighten it up to, sort of, say, there, for example, um, which that's not tight enough once you sort of get past the difference here is the entire band is made up of the Velcro, like the this is the loopy part of the Velcro, this is the scratchy part. Um, so, you know, it can be that size, which is, you know, that that fit me even when I was pregnant, or about my eight months, at about the eight month mark, and then, you know, you can make it as small as you want, like it will go, it fits anywhere. This will attach anywhere on the actual band, so that, you know, means you don't have to buy two. This one, like I said, was $109, but... The Belly Bandit, the cheapest one I could find was 75-ish, and I don't think that one was really had all the features that I was after. The other thing about this one that I thought was kind of cool is it has these two little extra straps, which you can use um, to sort of cinch in even further on your waist or, you know, at your hips or whatever, whatever you want it to cinch in more, um, which I will show you how to put this on in a minute, but I just wanted to sort of talk about it a little bit first. That was the main reason that I went for this one, because you could use it, you know, straight after birth and then you know, until you're back down to your initial size. Um, I will say that I don't think these, these are not miracle workers. This will help your muscles go back to where they need to be and it will help compress everything in, um, but it's not going to give you abs or anything like that. So, you know, I went into it knowing that, but I think a lot of people, from what the reviews I read, a lot of people were disappointed because they didn't come out with rock hard abs. And I'm, I was kind of like, well, I don't, that's not what they're for. Like you, you're never going to get abs just from a, band basically so don't buy one of these if that's what you think it's going to do it's not it will tuck you in and you will feel supported the other thing it's really good for is your posture because i had terrible posture after having my first daughter which I, after which i didn't use a band at all um i had terrible posture like just punching over you know breastfeeding and the like and you know, your tummy muscles are not 
the great the greatest afterwards anyway um this really helped my posture because it did keep you sitting upright which was nice and sometimes you wanted to slouch a little bit because you were tired but overall yeah i really did like it for that i didn't wear mine religiously either though so i wore it pretty much every day for the first two weeks 20 not 24 7 but you know what i was awake i didn't wear it when i went to bed at night just because um i think i tried to but it was just too uncomfortable so i took it off at night which was fine I think they, they say you can do that. That's not a problem. Um, and I think I wore, I think you're meant to wear it for a period of six weeks. Um, not really any more than that. And I did wear it two weeks consistently every day. And then after that, I kind of wore it one day and then maybe not the next. And then just depending on sort of my mood and what I was doing. Um, I did wear it when I was going out. Um, it is a little bit bulky, but the clothes that I wear aren't particularly fitted. I tend to wear a bit a bit like a more relaxed fit so you couldn't really see them under a lot of the clothes that I had I think if yeah you're wearing like a fitted singlet or something like that yeah you'd be able to see it I mean it does have it's not super bulky but you know you'd be able to see it especially with, with these little bits are you can see that um but it did make with a relaxed fit outfit like you know it did make you look like you had lost a lot of your weight and I got a lot of comments thinking by people thinking that I had already lost all that weight on my stomach which I hadn't no um I did take a little video of myself you know a week postpartum after I've been wearing it for a week so I will insert that so you can have a look and sort of see where my stomach was at I didn't take one before I started wearing it um more recently though I sort of I mentioned before that after I had Taylor I had a few back problems um, which the physio at the time, she told me that it was because when you're pregnant, your body releases a hormone that, relax, that relaxes all your um, your bones and your ligaments so that, you know, you, your pelvis can stretch to let the baby come out. Um, and that uh, it, it doesn't automatically all just go back into place. She did say it can take about a year for your pelvis to get back to where it was originally. So I hurt my back in about the six month mark. She said it was probably something as simple as me stre um, tripping over or like doing a little stumble. Like that that would have knocked it out of whack um so i've been quite conscious about it this time a couple of weeks ago i did a bit of a i can't remember what i did i think i stepped a bit too hard down a stair and i felt it jolt on my back and it didn't hurt straight away but the next morning i could feel you know that similar pain that was happening the lot similar to the last time i hit my back um so i popped this one straight on and i wore it for about two days i did have a sore back for for a day or so but after that i recovered so i was really glad i did have this just for that okay i'm just going to show you how to put it on i'm going to put it on over my top because i can't figure out a way to keep it up where you can't see my bra <laughs> um okay so that's the inside it's quite soft like it's i mean i wouldn't say it's super soft but i find it quite comfortable um overall yeah so you just sort of pop it around there you want to get it quite tight so the, the instructions in the box do tell you to lay down and do it which i think i did for the first couple months but yeah so you bring it around here as tight as you can i like to keep it a bit lower on my hips um just because my hips tend to bulge out and then with this little thing you can sort of bring everything in tighter i like to keep it sort of here because like i said this is, I've got a bit of a muffin top, whereas this I don't need to really, you know, I don't really want to be doing that because my belly pokes out there and that's where I want it to cinch in. So yeah, that just gives a little bit more support. You could be, you'd be fine without this, but they've put it on there, so why not? Um, and yeah, it just sort of comes around this. This is all really, really soft um, and it's not scratchy. Like it doesn't pull on anything. Um, I wonder if I can... Um, and that's it underneath this top. I mean, this is quite a release, relaxed fit top anyway. But so I didn't really have any problems wearing this underneath my clothes at all. But like I said, if you're someone that wears tighter fitting clothes, you're going to be able to see underneath. That's, but that's just the way it goes. The quality on this is really pretty good. Um, I have, I've just had a look at it now to see, you know, if I could see any fraying or anything like that, any stitching coming undone. And I can't. All I can sort of see is that right on the edges, there's a few little bubbles Excuse my nails. Oh my god, they're terrible. <laughs> you can see a few little bubbles on the edging, but it doesn't really, it doesn't affect the way the band works or anything like that. Um, so like I said, this doesn't perform miracles, but as a point of reference, I did fit back into my jeans. I mean, I had a, we had a newborn photo shoot for Owen and it was, a, he was 11 days old when we, the day that we did it. Um, and I wore my, my pre-pregnancy jeans to that photo shoot and they fit. Not the jeans that I wore pre-Taylor, so prior to any babies at all. But um, I was back into my pre-pregnancy jeans from, you know, the in-between 
baby's time because I didn't expect to be fitting into those jeans for quite some time. All in all, I would recommend the Mum Away Belly Band to someone that was after a postnatal recovery band. It's definitely not a necessity, but it was something that I was glad that I used in the end. Having not used it for my daughter after my daughter and then used it after my son, I would use it again. If I had another child, I would be definitely use it again. And I would go for this, this brand and this model again. Um, over any others that are on the mark. I think that's everything that I wanted to say. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments down below and I will answer them as best I can. Um, there's probably heaps that I've forgotten to talk about that you probably are wondering about because I remember I had a lot of questions when I was doing my research on the belly band. So definitely ask me any questions you want in the comments below and I will definitely respond to you. I hope you found this video informative. Please give me a thumbs up if you did so I know that I've helped somebody out there. <laughs> Um, and if you're not already subscribed to my channel, please do so. I hope you're having a great week and I will talk to you next time. Bye guys. <laughs>